Organic matter levels in the field are very important to me for a number of reasons. Organic matter is so good for supporting microbial life, for reducing compaction and improving soil tilth. Uh, all those things that you think are positives, organic matter represents those things. But a couple of things that are dollars and cents to me are the nutrients that are being released by mineralization of that organic matter every year. Each 1% of organic matter releases 20 to 30 pounds of nitrogen, 4 to 7 pounds of phosphate, and 2 to 3 pounds of sulfur every year. So at 1.5%, I've got pretty low levels. I'm getting maybe 30 pounds of nitrogen, maybe 6 pounds of phosphate, maybe 3 pounds of sulfur. I'm not going to turn those down, but I'd much rather see if I could get that organic matter level up into the fives. Let's say I can raise my organic matter level by 4% in this field. If I can do that, that's another 80 to 120 pounds of free nitrogen I'm going to get every year. That's a huge deal for me. When you look at the phosphate, that's another 16 to 28 pounds of phosphate I'm going to get for free every year. The other thing with organic matter for me that's important is the water holding capacity. I've got very hilly, rolly ground as you can see with this field. And when you've got ground like that and it's dry land, non-irrigated farm ground, You've got to try and hold all the moisture you can on those hilltops because they're going to dry out during the summer. And I farm in South Dakota as well, so we aren't normally blessed with an abundance of rainfall to begin with. So you think about organic matter and water holding capacity. Each 1% increase in organic matter can hold 4% more water. So if I could increase the organic matter again in this field by 4% over time, that's 16% more water I can hold on those hilltops. That's huge for me. I don't have to mention how much more yield potential that's going to bring. It's quite a bit. Corn has about five times the root mass of soybeans, so by planting more corn here and less soybeans for the short term anyway, I'm going to build my organic matter levels. I will eventually get into a rotation of crops, but for a few years at least, I want to make sure that I'm planting a lot of corn here to try and have plenty of residue and hopefully build that organic matter level up. We are seeing it start to creep up in the first couple of years. Now to the tillage that I mentioned, I've been using strip till. My focus of using the strip till is just dealing with that residue a little bit. We're using a corn head uh, that's a chopping head. So we're chopping all those pieces up into about six inch chunks and they're spread evenly across my field. By doing some strip till, I'm creating a black strip that's approximately eight inches wide on my 30 inch rows. So I've got a little black strip that warms up faster in the spring and also gives me a better chance to have an even competition between all my corn seeds. They aren't going to have to fight over a big chunk of corn residue that happens to lay over the row. I'm going to eliminate that issue. So I've got a nice even seed bed where all my seeds have an equal chance to survive. So there are many things I'm trying to do on the organic matter side.